In this video, we are quickly going to look at the 3D menu, the top toolbar here, and the six different areas and what they do. For more in-depth training, we do of course advise you to check our YouTube channel or enrolling in our free e-learning courses at the Easy Design Academy. And there is a help guide here that you can click on the question mark and it will just give you quick information about all the different uh, areas of the menu. But I'm going to close that. Uh, first of all, we're going to look at navigation. There are five different navigation options. Uh, to start with, you have the mouse option. And to use the mouse option, you simply press down the left mouse button and you will start to walk. And by pressing down at the same time the left mouse button and moving the mouse, you can navigate. If you press down the right mouse button, it will be the same thing. You can move your mouse, but you're backing up now. It's kind of a limited way to navigate, but it's very simple because you're just using the mouse. A little bit more advanced, but a lot more flexible is the walk option. If I press that, I need to press down my right mouse button to activate the camera and I can move my mouse at the same time while keeping the mouse pr right mouse button pressed to look around. And then I can combine that with my keyboard keys to start moving. And you can keep the right mouse button pressed at the same time while using the keyboard keys to get a nice flow when moving around into the scene. If I press down my shift button also at the same time, you're going to travel faster in the scene. But there is a speed option that I'm going to come back to very shortly. Then we have the game mode that works exactly like the walk option, but you don't have to press down the right mouse button. When you activate game mode, you simply need to move your mouse. You don't need to press down the right mouse button and you can use the keyboard keys to move. So very much like a, a typical game navigation option. Press escape to uh, exit the game mode. Then we can press the orbit button and that brings us into a top view where I can just press down my right mouse button and move my mouse in any direction. And you can quickly see the, uh, the floor plan from above. You can use the scroll wheel to zoom in or zoom out as well. The final one is the top view and that brings me into a top view and I can use the scroll wheel again to zoom in or out and I can also use my directional keys to align the floor plan any way I would like. So that is navigation. Then we have, let's go back into the walk option. Then we have the speed. Simply, if I select, for example, three times, I'm going to travel at three times the normal speed. Very good for bigger floor plans to move quickly. And then you don't have to press down the shift button to move faster. Go back to one. Then we have camera options. I'm not going to go through this in this video. Uh, but you have so you have to check the uh, our training uh, on the YouTube channel or on our Easy Design Academy. But basically it means I can add multiple cameras uh, and have them as viewpoints. So I can quickly skip from one camera to another, which is great if I'm doing a big floor plan. So maybe I put one camera in, if it's a fitness facility like this one, in the reception, one in the dressing rooms, and a couple inside the fitness area itself. Then in the first video, we actually went through the editing options. I'm going to skip that. But as if you remember, you can add objects and you can move objects. You can change the wall colors, materials. You can change the ceiling and floor materials in this editing menu. Then we have the presentation option. Uh, and I actually went through uh, some of them in the first video, uh, such as the camera option. Then we have the walkthrough video. And I'm going to post a link so you can see uh, where you should go to get information on how to use the presentation option for the walkthrough video. And then we have the automatic PDF presentation, which we also showed in the first video. And we have more videos 
showing how to create an Oculus virtual reality scene, a 360 panoramic image. We also went through the presentation settings in the first video, where you can select what type of render type you would like, sky domes, etc. The real-time 3D setting here is basically you can limit or increase the quality of the real-time 3D when you're walking around. So, and this was also covered in the first video, if you are using a slower computer, you can set a lower setting and it will be a more simple 3D, a much more faster 3D when walking around. Of course, when you save your images, your walkthrough videos, etc., that will have the quality setting depending on what you decide in the presentation menu right here. So this is for your finished result. The star setting is only for the real-time 3D. Then we're going to skip this part. I'm simply going to press exit and we're going to stop right there.